What is up guys, the LA Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 23 of my Madden 16 Fantasy Draft Connected franchise featuring the Seattle Seahawks. In today's episode, we are playing the rematch against the New York Jets. Now, this is a big test, a big time to see if we made the right moves in the offseason to kind of to kind of counter this team. Now, in real life sports teams, uh, teams will intentionally build free agents to go uh, that will work against the best teams in the league, for example. A uh, team like the Spurs this year picked up Lamarcus Aldridge because it may be able to beat the Golden State Warriors, who are the previous year's champions. Because you want to be able to beat the best, and if you can do that, you'll be able to be the best. So that's the idea. So uh, before we hop too far into this commentary, before I start commentating the game, because there's going to be some big stuff coming up soon. Um, I highly recommend if you're a subscriber and you haven't watched it already, I recommend you guys watch my 1500 subscriber video I made earlier today. I really appreciate it because I have a lot I need to show you guys and um the only real way you guys can get caught up is if you go watch that so i'd really appreciate it if you went and did that so uh, without further ado we're gonna hop into this next play they're going to run the ball up the middle and we're gonna hit him and we're gonna get the fumble and cj mosley is gonna pick it up philip river is gonna miss the diving tackle and cj mosley is long gone one of the most athletic linebackers in the league he has dominant speed nobody's gonna catch up to him in the open field he's gonna hide just high step his way into the end zone across the end zone i was really excited about that play so i showboated a little bit but if that's not good enough news, they're not going to get anything on their next offensive drive. So we have another chance here on our offensive drive to get a bigger lead. So something I want to mention is, if you guys remember, we got a guy named Jaqueline Russell in the in the uh, rookie draft this this past year. And this guy is a beast. I'm going to say it right now. Jaqueline Russell is a beast. Uh, he goes off this game, especially later in the game. I want you guys to pay close attention to the number 18 because he is a beast. We're going to actually throw a bomb right here to him. And look at him jump over the safety to bring that one home. He was in double coverage. He manages to outrun the quarterback and then jump over the safety to one-on-one -on -one win that, that battle. And if that's not good enough, he's going to actually get open here on this crossing route. And he's going to get the, the first receiving touchdown of the game for us. So there we go. Great job by Jaquathan Russell. So here we go. Phillip Rivers and the Jets are going to move back down and try to get some points on the board for their own. So, um, of course, we're going to try to prevent that. We have a pretty strong defense as well. And I think one of the best compliments we had, one of the best things we had that happened to us this past season was getting Dante Fowler Jr. back. And the reason the reason that's a great thing is because getting a great pass rush can really help out your team a lot. And Dante Fowler Jr. is a great pass rusher. He's a great compliment to Randy Gregory, who plays on the other side of him. And oddly enough, right here, they're actually going to punt the ball at the 32-yard line. So um, I guess their kicker completely sucks, and he can't make a 49-yarder. And because of that, we're actually going to be able to keep them off the board. So um, like I said, I wanted to mention... Uh, Dante Fowler Jr., great, great comeback story for him to come back off the ACL. He's already got a few sacks this season. And something I want to mention is I think we're a, we are in a week six or week seven right now in the time of this game. Like I said, I'm going to start hopping around every couple of weeks to start playing my games. The reason that is is because the past couple of weeks we've simmed, we keep winning our games. So what's the purpose of me playing the games if we're going to win them anyways? It's right here. We're going to get a pick. Um, with who is that? Let's see. The name should pop up with Dwayne Gratz. So there we go. We're going to get the interception right there. Now we're going to scramble our right with Jameis Winston. We're going to see what's going on. And nothing's really going there on the receiving side of the of the ball. So we're actually just going to rush it downfield and get about 15 yards on that run. So here we go. We're going to continue to work in the red zone. This time we're going to throw a bomb up there to Odell. And he's going to jump over the cornerback to get a touchdown right there. So um, yeah, we're in about week seven. I think our record's like five and one at the time of this game. And it's looking pretty good for us to go 6-1. It's right here. Jaquayla Russell's going to break a tackle. If that's not good enough, he's actually going to juke out two players and continue to move downfield to get about 40 yards on that return or on that reception. My bad. So there we go. Jaquayla Russell is a beast. And now we're going to hit Christine Michael in the backfield to get up to the 13-yard line. So we have another chance here in the red zone. Another chance. You see... You see the clock is running down. We only have two seconds left. We're going to throw one in the back of the end zone. And Jaquelin Russell is going to come down with it to get his second receiving touchdown of the game. And don't worry, that's not going to be his last opportunity to get a big play this game. It's right here. We're going to throw a bomb downfield. We try to hit Jaquelin Russell again. This time it's not going to work though. So we're actually going to throw it straight to the safety's hands. Don't worry though. Russell's going to get himself involved a little bit later. It's right here. We're going to miss the his stick. What are we doing? Come on, man. For some reason, I thought the quarterback was going to call the play action. So I dove at him. Instead of diving at Todd Gurley, but actually ended up being a handoff. And right here, he's going to throw it over to the left side and get a quick little reception right there. And so they're going to continue to work downfield. And this drive is looking pretty good for them so far. I can't lie. So they're going to get another nice little crossing route here. If you guys watch the Chargers in real life and watch all Phillip Rivers' plays, he likes to get those quick little dump offs, those quick little crossing routes. So we're going to try to prevent those plays from happening. Because right here, CJ Mosley is going to show off some of that speed and crash up the middle to actually get a sack. And luckily, we're going to hold them back to a field goal. So we're going up 28-3 to with five minutes left in the third. I think it's weird that they're not going for it right here. I don't think they realize how little time they have left to make up a 28-point deficit. That's okay, though, because I'm going to take, take all the advantages I can get. So right here, we're going to get a quick little crossing route, see what we can get. 
look over to the left side we see r1 is open and that will be actually odell beckham and that's going to be about a 20 yard gain and so we're going to continue to move downfield this time hand it off to christine michael and it looks like we're getting some open space but that actual that block is going to uh rip open so we're actually only going to make it to the others other teams 45 yard line so here we go we're going to scramble out left see what we got going on we got x wide open so we're going to throw it over to him and sadly odell was not able to, to uh, block that cornerback because if he did ladarius greenman had a tons of open space but that's fine we got christine michael here on the hp screen let's see what he can do it's third and four hopefully he can get up in this open field and give us a first down but he will not be able to do so he's actually going to fumble and our guard is going to have to pick that up and luckily prevent the other team from picking it up um so we weren't able to get the touchdown on that drive but luckily we're still able to get a field goal on the board to maintain a 28 point lead and if that's not good enough they're actually gonna punt the ball away to us on their next possession so i wanted to show this punt because this punt basically was sealed their fate i don't know why they're punting it with only one quarter left and they're down by 28 points i think they may have just gave up a little bit early so at this point i'll just show you guys some of the main clips right here we're gonna throw into quaylen russell for about 20 to 30 yards and that's not gonna be the only big play you see from him in these next next couple of clips as right here look over to the left side of your screen as Jaquayla Russell is going to completely burn that cornerback and get his third receiving touchdown of the game let's go Jaquayla Russell you are a beast whoever has you on your fantasy football team it should be super excited because Jaquayla Russell is going off this game and if that's not good enough on the very next clip Jaquayla Russell is going to get another gigantic touchdown this one for 70 yards Jaquayla Russell I think may have broken the 200 yard mark and yes he did if you look right there he had 228 yards four touchdowns eight receptions Jaquayla Russell is the man that you want to have on your fantasy football team and he's the man you want to have on your real life team if you're a GM and thank God we got him in the in the uh, NFL draft because he's a dominant player a dominant force and I'm just really glad that we got him on our team and if that's not good enough Christine Michael is going to actually run downfield and get a gr uh, just a really nice run right here and of course since we're terrible people we're going to of course run up the score as we're going to call a play action here Ladarius Green's going to get open in the back of the end zone and we're going to throw a bomb up there to get another touchdown so we're actually going to walk out here this is just my payback for the Jets beating me in the Super Bowl even though we're going to blow them out this game 52 to 10 I would much rather have a Super Bowl ring than a 42 point win that's just the truth to be completely honest with you guys no matter how many times we blow out this team it will not redeem the fact that they did end up beating us in the Super Bowl last year so however many times we need to blow this team to to uh, re revenge to get revenge on that Super Bowl victory, that's how many times we're going to blow them out. Um, as you see right there, we got 414 yards on the on the passing game. That's just absolutely unbelievable. And we're going to walk out here with a 52 to 10 victory. Um, I didn't change the difficulty at all, honestly. This is just one of those games. Uh, for those of you who play Madden or play play most games actually there's of course those typical or those occasional moments where everything is clicking you know where where you're just in that zone and you just play the game better than you normally would this was one of those games for me where everything clicked um i played this game about five times better than i've ever played madden before so uh don't worry guys there was no reason that i blew out this team i was just playing really well so uh, if you guys enjoyed please click like button below make sure to check out that uh 1500 sub video i made um so i can get some of your guys opinions uh, make sure to comment your guys opinion of the series below and tell me what i can do to make it more interesting for you guys and make sure to subscribe if you have not already stay tuned to this series and other series i got going to my channel thank you guys so much and once again thank you guys so much for 1500 subs and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out